in our impromptu pitches. But what we need to do when we're given that task, when we're told, I want you to deliver a pitch on this and there's no time to prepare, we need to have a little bit of structure in mind. And when you're in that situation, I want you now to think of the word pet. Pet, P-E-T. I know that doesn't, want, that doesn't mean I want you to have a, a flashback about your favorite guinea pig, Jimmy. No, instead what I'm looking for you to do here <laughs> is firstly get to your point. Get to your point quickly. So what I'm suggesting, in your case, this USP example, you want to state exactly what your USP is within the first 10 seconds. Now, why do you think that would be not only beneficial to the audience, but also to us? Any ideas? Nigel, please. Is it something to do with recency so that, you know, the first thing you hear is likely to remain in that sense because you started off with it with a bit of impact, maybe. A little bit, a little bit. So if you imagine you're, you're asked the question, you're immediately answering it. So you've got that clarity effect. But there's another reason as well. Like, Doug, go ahead. Sorry there. I, I would say it's showing respect for the value of other people's time. That's that is really a good point. That is a good point. Tess, I'll let you have a go. I'm thinking it's in those 10 seconds, the listener is going to decide immediately whether they want to carry on listening or, or not. Is it relevant to them? This is true. This is true. But I'm more thinking about you as in the person delivering the pitch. You see, when we're asked a question, often lots of different ideas pop up in our head and it can be a little bit overwhelming. And what can quite often happen is if you don't decide what you want to speak on specifically, you can end up saying a whole lot of nothing in your 60 <laughs> seconds. But if you decide immediately what point you want to speak on, in other words, if you state that your USP is communication skills or whatever it is, then you are now giving yourself direction. You are giving yourself direction. You now know for the rest of the 60 seconds, you need to be speak about communication skills or whatever your specific USP is. So yes, it gives the audience clarity, it makes them interested, but it gives you as the speaker direction for the rest of your impromptu pitch.